So for the most part, there's not much a homeowner has to do to a job site before we start. There are sometimes there's some bushes or plants that like the homeowner said, hey, I'll go ahead and cut this back. It's overgrown anyway. So we'll be real about, hey, this area here, we got to put ladders here. Like there's going to be some damage. We'll try to make it as much as we can, but we, we just have to get back there to hang the siding. But most of the time, the homeowner doesn't have to do anything. We'll want to make sure that the day we start that your car's out of the driveway, that because even if we want to save one side, we, in case we can't, we don't want your car in the driveway and you're stuck. So get all the cars out of the driveway. Um, we'll have everything aligned and placed out, but you don't need, really need to do anything else. And I do tell people, when we finish the job, we want it to be 90, 95% of we were never there. 100% is not realistic. Okay, so like the expectation shouldn't be that we like destroy your flowers and damage your driveway. But, it's, but like sometimes a forklift driver drops stuff off, he leaves a black scuff mark. Dr driveway's not damaged, but like he's trying to set the material, he's turning their big, huge wheels, like that can happen. Um, you know, like if you have any flowers or plants that we absolutely have to not damage, we'll put a structure over and we'll, and we'll remove it. But there might be a small, small debris that gets hit. And so at the end of a job, we're gonna walk around with the metal detector nails. The goal is to get 95% of the nails. We'll, we'll clean up really, really well. You know, you're not gonna see a bunch of small debris in the yard, um, but it won't be perfect because like, it was basically like a major operation outside your house. So we do spend a lot of time cleaning, we're proud of it, but nothing's perfect. Nah, kind of during the project, the biggest thing is that I tell homeowners is like, you, just, you gotta give me windows of communication that you can be open. So not everyone can meet on our timeline, right? We're on your, our job is to be in job working. Your job is whatever your job is. And a lot of times now, since the pandemic, a lot of people work from home. Some people even on Zoom calls all day. So it's important to us that we just have times where I know you can be available. Like I don't want to discover something big and be like, oh, it's, you know, it's 1800 bucks. We'll just tell them later. You know, like, so we just want to communicate. So that's all we really need during it is your communication. And then we normally do a final walk the day before we're done because the crew's still there. So let's, I, I know we're not finished yet. Let's walk around the house. Let's make sure we understand everything going on. Anything you don't like, anything you want to change. You put on three things, they're not done yet, but we know. And then we'll do another final walk when the crew's finally done. That's, that's really the only thing we need from the homeowner.